Hey guys, it's Kyle from Backcountry Adventure Motorsports, and I'm going to show you how to load this big heavy ADV bike into this truck using a Harbor Freight winch. So last week I posted a picture on Instagram of me loading the bike into the truck using a winch. It got a lot of feedback, lots of questions, um, lots of comments, and uh, so I just thought I'd do a quick little video. It's I, I chose to do it this way because it's just a real safe way to do it. Yes, I can ride it up in the back of the truck. Yes, I can walk it up with using the engine. Um, it's, this is just a really easy and safe way to do it and um, you know when you're by yourself um, here you can see I have a little bit of a hill so it's actually not that bad just to walk in the back of the truck but whenever you get to where you're going sometimes you don't have that uh, for instance I went to Moab it was pretty flat where we were camping and it made it really easy just to unload the bike uh, using the winch so I'm just gonna do a quick I'm just gonna show you how to uh, to load this up using the winch and uh, hopefully it answers any questions you had from that post and if not uh, you know, if, if it just strikes you as something you might want to do, then by all means, this is a, a quick and easy and very inexpensive way to do it with a Harbor Freight winch. All right, so this is my setup. I got my bike here, and what I use, I just use two soft ties to the uh, crash bar right there. You can go around the fork. I've done that too, but this is a super sturdy spot on the bike, and I used a carabiner and some climbing stuff that I already have. You can, you, you don't even have to do that. You could just hook the hook to the two straps, but this is metal, and I just thought it'd be a, a good thing to use. Um, I got my ramps, one to walk on, one to use the bike, or ro roll the bike up. I've got my cable. Um, I already had one of these Harbor Freight um, uh, wheel chocks. It works good just sitting in the bed. I got a cheap battery and that I've had out of, out of our RV. I switched those out when we first bought it with the golf cart batteries. And I have this 2500 Badland winch that cost me $49 on sale. Um, you can't beat the price for it. And then for $13, I built this little angle iron uh, system here. I could have mounted it to the bed. I don't want it permanent. And um, I could have used chain here, but these straps are rated for like 500 pounds. And the bike only weighs like 550 right now with everything that I got on it. So I hook them to the edge of the, of the, edge of the bed. And whenever you, it starts to pull, it just cr creates this uh, um, triangle effect here and pulls it straight in. It works well. I've done it several times now. And uh, I'll hook it up and show you how, to, how easy it is. All right, so the winch comes with this cool little wireless remote. Hold the button down for two seconds. A little blue light comes on. You have your extend and you have your retract button. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it, I think it, it says it goes out to 25 feet or something. Um, but you can you know, just take out some of the slack there. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to winch it up. Uh, what I usually do, I either leave it neutral and roll it up, or you can leave it in first gear and then hold the clutch as you walk it up. That way, if for some reason something wants to go bad quickly, you can just let go of the clutch and it should hold the bike theoretically in place. But um, again, I'm going to push this up real quick and show you how it works. Kick stand up so it doesn't get in the way. And. Up. Now all I do is just uh, push it into the wheel chalk and strap it all down. All right. Now that I got it up, I'm gonna go ahead and just get, let it down since I have to get it down anyway. But I'll show you how easy that is. Again, you can pretty much do it with just one hand. I'll pull the clutch in, let it kind of roll back a little bit to get it going down the ramp, and then just hit the extend button. <laughs> I'm 
show me how easy it is. And the bike is out. Alright guys, so that's how I use the winch to get the bike in the back of the truck. Uh, this is just a quick down and dirty video, kind of like I said, I didn't, I didn't go into a whole lot of detail on like how I made the bracket and all that kind of stuff. It's really easy, you can pretty much figure that out on your own. Um, and again, there's several ways to do it, this is just the one way that I do it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down there and hit the bell icon so you know when more videos are going to be released. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. This is Kyle from Backcountry Venture Motorsports. I'm out.